Great. So for everybody here, I hope you've been uh, looking for repeated words. Um, when you're ready to start marking them. So who wants to go first? What's one word you see repeated many times? Christ Jesus. Okay, let's highlight Christ Jesus in any color, green, any color you have. All right, that's one word that we see. Um, what other what other what other high, what other words do we see that are repeated? I didn't hear you. Sorry, say it louder. Still can't hear you. We'll give you the microphone. Us. Us. Yes. Us is repeated. In fact, let me give an example where I describe a little bit about that one about us. So notice that there are, there are a bunch of us that's repeated. Now what I realize is every time I see an us, I realize that there's something happening to that us. So let's look at the first us. So in the first us, we see, um, here we go, that he blessed us. So we see that he blessed us. So he's doing something to us. Now, if anybody find the next us or any other us? Do you, what, what's the fragment that's related to the us? What's being done to the us? Chose us, so he chose us. Anything else we see? What's the next us? Predestined us. So there's always something happening. So the, so the us, what I do is I highlight it maybe yellow. So highlight not just the us, but I highlight the thing that's been happening to the us. So we'll keep highlighting those words. Now what's interesting is with this exercise, you're looking at repeated words. One thing that's helpful for me when I do this is um, looking at repeated words related to either a who or a when or a how or a, or a where. So an example is you mentioned... Um, Christ is repeated multiple times. So that's a who, it's talking about a person. So we can look at Christ, that's repeated many times. The other ones are, I'm sure you can notice this, the number of him or he or his that are, that are referenced. So we'll highlight all those one color as well. Probably keep highlighting them, all those, all those, all those ones green. And then you also notice there are other parts of who, like there's, there's a, a few times they say we, or there's a few times they say our. So those ones, we'll just keep on highlighting those words. And then um, those are just examples of ways of, that are helpful to um, identify repeated words. So anything else that pops out that you guys saw? To the praise of his glory, of his grace. Ah, interesting. So how many times do we see that? Let's see, let's look for that phrase, everybody. To the praise of his glory or of the praise of his glory. How many times do you guys see that in this passage? You see, this is why you need color pencils. I tell you, kids are better at this exercise. But you guys go on, participate, you know, see what you can find. <laughs> How many times do you see to the praise of his glory or of the praise of his glory? Three times. Three times, yes. That's how many times you see in this passage. And that's going to be significant to understanding this passage. Um, Great, so I think you guys definitely get the, definitely get the hang of this. Um, there are a few that are a bit, more, a bit harder to get. For example, I mentioned repeated words related to when. Um, so let me, let me even ask that as a question. Can you guys spot words related to, that talk about time in some context? Now when you do this, note that it may be even part of a word. It may be something that's at the beginning of a word as opposed to syntax it's gonna be something at the beginning of the word. Notice anything you notice about time. There's a before. There's a before, yes. There's a before, so that's about time. There's a pre, there's a pre. okay. There's another example. So notice how you wouldn't think of that as a repeated word, but before and pre are repeated because they're both talking about, they're both similar talking about time before. Great. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause.